one. So I'd ask you now to pick up your pens and go ahead and, uh, with a wink and a nod, sign your letter of it. Such a special day. It's a it's a proud day. I, I feel and I sense everyone feels so much pride in what these guys have been able to accomplish so far. Uh, I know the best is yet to come. It's probably my favorite day of the year, too, because it really reflects the hard work and sacrifices of so many in this room. Um, I've seen it since they've been at Mount Carmel, but it's gone on since they were very little and they first decided to play this game. You guys have only been driving for about how long cars? Two years, maybe three times. So you got moms and dads in here and grandmas that have been carting them to practices, to training, to games, giving them all the resources, things that they need to be successful. They have such an unbelievable support system. So again, this reflects all of that. Uh, and I know the best is yet to come. I love the fact that they continue to use baseball to learn life lessons and to get that college degree that they're going to have with them forever. Uh, I want them to have successful baseball careers as they move on. Most importantly, I want to see them get that degree and walk across that stage uh, with what they choose to study. That's the most important thing. And the beauty of it is they're using baseball to get that done. What could be better than that? So I wish you guys the best. You know, we're really going to need their senior leadership this year. Uh, when they were sophomores, a lot has been made of uh, what we were able to accomplish that year. But we had five seniors on that team that sat here as you guys, as you guys did, right? They were tremendous leaders and example for you guys. Jerry Houston, Jason Gasser, Bo Filkins, Tom Hayes, Joe Kennedy, right? We had some great senior leadership that year. And we're really going to need that to duplicate the success that we were able to achieve in 2013. And I really can't wait to get going. And uh, these guys are proven winners. And I know they're, they're going to lead. And we're going to accomplish special things come next season. So looking forward to it, guys. Congrats again. And congrats to the family. It seems that Coach Schmack and the rest of the coaching staff have made you a top priority on the recruiting class. How does that feel, and did this factor in your decision? I mean, uh, obviously, through, uh, through the recruiting process, I was I got a lot, got a good uh, offer and everything like that. It felt really great. Um, I mean, I, I like that it was close to home. Uh, I like that their academics was actually really good, and I like the athletic program, so that was very sweet. What are some of the reasons that you chose Michigan to continue your academic and athletic career? Um, I chose Michigan because it's very, um, it's a very good academic school. I love all the coaches. Um, it's a great facility. And it's just a great school. What are some of the reasons you chose to attend Louisville, and what are the big, biggest challenges you will face once you get there? Um, I chose to go to Louisville because they joined the uh, ACC. And it's one of the top baseball conferences in the country. And um, I know if I go in and work hard during the fall season, I'll get a good chance to start as a freshman and contribute to the program. And probably the biggest challenge I'll face is just getting used to uh, seeing college pitching and seeing very good arms every day. Why did you choose to play for Coach Joslin at Chicago State? Um, I really wanted to stay close to home. And when I visit, I, I felt comfortable. I was there and welcome, and it was just like one big family. How has Mount Carmel Baseball helped you achieve your accomplishment today? Uh, Mount Carmel Baseball has actually taught me the right way to play as a team, and uh, I feel that this year is uh, our senior year. If we play the team how we're supposed to, we're going to win our state championship. You're achieving one of your goals today in signing a Division I letter of intent to an accomplished baseball school. How do you feel Mount Carmel has helped you reach this goal? Uh, Mount Carmel has taught me how to have uh, great mental toughness. Um, last year, I had a stretch where I struggled for a long time. And then, through the coaches and their positive self-talk, I um, fought through and at the end, broke through. So, basically, mental toughness can apply to baseball and life. How has Mount Carmel developed you as a person and an athlete? Um, Mount Carmel has taught me how to be responsible, uh, taught me how to be a gentleman, uh, taught me discipline. Uh, yeah. 
What is the most important life skill that you will take away from Mount Carmel baseball or the school itself? That nothing is impossible. The most important lessons or skills that you are going to leave Mount Carmel with, both in the classroom and on the baseball field? Uh, in the classroom, uh, you gotta stay, stay in the books because once you slip, it's gonna be real hard to get back up. Uh, what was the second? And uh, for the, what are you gonna take away from the baseball field? On uh, the baseball field? Um, hard working. Uh, can't can't forget about the um, six a.m. morning workouts. I'm tired. <laughs> and, uh, just I'm just take a lot of stuff like once again hard working, uh, aggressiveness. That's one thing. Louisville has done a great job recruiting the Chicago area in the past few years. Was this a factor in your decision, and where do you see yourself fitting in once you get on campus? Um, it was one of the factors because I knew they had a strong pipeline. Um, I know Corey Ray from Simeon, he goes there, he starts there now. And um, what's the second part of the question? It's, uh, do you see yourself fitting in once you get on campus? Yeah, I see myself fitting in. The uh, people and the coaches are very welcoming, and they all accept you. It's like a one-day family. Have the coaches given you any indication of early playing time? Um, coach told me if you play hard, um, you are in a spot. I have a question. In each of his first two seasons, the team has improved considerably under Coach Johnson. What will you bring to the team when you arrive to continue this upward trend? Um, well, I'm going to try to bring a state, I mean, not a state of championship. <laughs> <laughs> You're a very skilled outfielder who can hit, run, and throw. Are there any areas of your game that you will strive to improve upon, and what are your goals for the upcoming season? Um, for hitting, just try to um, stay more patient and not get myself out. You probably um, work on going out of the field a little bit more. And... Scott, can you just, you know, you got pulled up to catch in sophomore year, right in the middle of the playoffs. What, what do you remember most about that looking back now? And, and then how has that shaped your understanding as a player, as a, as a young man, uh, about that, that kind of a lot was laid right at your, your plate right there uh, yeah, I mean, in that part of the season? Freshman year, actually, I mean, they didn't really catch as much. It was, you know, it was a weird season. But uh, sophomore year, I really wanted to catch because I knew that it was going to be like a competition in the catching spot. And I worked really hard during the off season of my freshman, freshman and sophomore year. I mean, I, I felt like I had a met, like Coach Himes actually really helped me out with the mental toughness and everything like that. And I mean, working hard and knowing what to do, and being with the team and learning everything like that we were supposed to do on, on and off the field. Uh, I mean, getting pulled up out of nowhere, it was, I mean, I really wanted that to happen and it did happen. And I just kept, I made, I made sure that I was gonna keep playing hard throughout the whole entire season or playoff throughout the whole playoffs just to make sure that uh, I stay up there and win a championship. So. The state championship run uh, several years. What are you going to remember most about each other, the relationships that you have with each other? I mean, what story do you have about each other that you've had to play? you played together for a long time now. Um, what, what stories are you going to take away or remember most about your, your teammates here? Um, for sophomore year, probably, State championship game. Probably, it was a state championship game. We were in a little bit of a jam, and then um, this guy had this guy had a ball on the uh, back fence right at third base because they were running second and third, and he ran into the scoring, and that pretty much saved us the game. Yeah. <coughs> Can you read the question? <laughs> Just what, what are you going to remember most uh, about these guys right here that you're sitting? Josh, he's fast, he can haul down any ball in the outfield. Scott, he's a wall behind the plate. The league, he's my talking buddy on the field. <laughs> uh, I'll remember from the whole entire season, or from like sophomore year, playing together with all of them. I, I'm, I really like the Louisville trip. I mean, we got to hang out pretty much the whole time. And being in the bus for pretty much, I think, it was eight hours. Six hours. Being in the bus for six hours and like listening to uh, Ko and Josh and Malik all talk and fight. It was just, it was just fun.
and watch it. Uh, I'm going to remember the most important state game. Like everything from the beginning to the talk with Jerry Houston to the dog pound. Um, from last year, see, I'm going to remember me and Scott. He was catching, I was on first. We had to talk about the signs and how you can throw the man out on first. Like K.O. said, that's my talking button. Remember me and Josh, like all of us, we had a bet uh, last year. Uh, whoever hits five home runs gets $10 from all of us. <laughs> <laughs>